Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintballProps.com. Uh, I just wanted to show off some of the new goodies that I received today. I'm going to be making a few videos to show off uh, some new uh, products that I'll either be selling uh, as singles or I'll be designing into something else. And in the case where I'm designing it into something else, I'll tell you what I'm going to design it into. Now these are massive seven segment displays, about the size of my hand. They're very, very large. And uh, this is a common anode seven segment display. It takes uh, about 13 volts. The spec says 12 volts, but 12 volts using a 100 uh, ohm current limiting resistor for each of the segments. I find that the segments don't light up as uh, bright as they should. So I'm using a uh, I'm using a 100 uh, ohm resistor. Uh, should be using a one watt resistor, but since I'm using it for just a second for demonstration purposes, this will be fine. Uh, just to show you, if I the pins are underneath, so I'm just going to They light up quite nicely at 13 volts and on the bottom. So what I would do is I'm going to ideally make uh, large displays of four of these. So I can make a count up timer, count down timer, or a clock for uh, uh, paintball related games or uh, escape room games. Now you'll see that there's some fingerprints on here. No problem. There's actually a, uh, a plastic seal that I can just rip off when it's ready for it to be used in a game so it won't smudge or you won't have a smudged final product. But um, what I'll need to do is I will need, because this takes 13 volts, most of my micro, all of my microcontrollers either work at 3.3 volts or 5 volts. So I can't just drive a transistor for, that has 13 volts on it with 5 volts. I need 13 volts to drive a transistor that's capable of providing enough current to each of these segments. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to make uh, a logic converter that converts uh, 5 volt signals from a microcontroller to 13 volts to drive properly drive a transistor um, to turn this display on and off. Now it won't be, it, it's not going to be difficult uh, but it is going to require a bit more circuitry. But I just wanted to show it off because it's a really neat product and I mean imagine four of these side by side you have a very large display. Um, and I, th I think it's a neat product because it's hands down the biggest seven segment display that I've ever come across. Let me just show you the back. I've got uh, a wire wrap wire to this specific pin. There's 10 pins total. Um, each of the large segments has, I believe, uh, 20 LEDs, or sorry, 10 LEDs, uh, five sets of two in parallel, and the, the dot has three single LEDs, so it actually lights up quite bright. Uh, quite bright. Uh, I would need a different resistor for this because it has uh, lesser LEDs than each specific segment. Anyhow, I just wanted to show it off because I, th I thought it was really neat and uh, as a hobbyist uh, before a businessman, um, I just wanted to, to show it to, to the world because it's, it's, it really is the biggest seven segment display that uh, I've ever come across. Uh, I have some other seven segment displays lying around, but they are probably about the size of the, the uh, height of the middle segment. They're very, very small. Even our Betty paintball time bomb props use uh, four, a four segment display that's about this long and this high, four segments. This is a single segment. It's common anode. I can get my hands on common cathode as well. When I make this into a, uh, a clock or a count up timer, or count up or count down timer, uh, I'll make a video. But unfortunately, as you see on the back, uh, the area between these pins and these pins are five inches. So to make a printed circuit board, uh, for this, I would I'm going to need to upgrade my PCB software because it's out out of spec. It's not I can I can't make PCBs that long. Uh, but ideally, what I would do is I would make a PCB that could handle this, and it would have uh, male to female pin connectors that connect connect to another PCB. So I would make a uh, four digit display using four different um, four different. Uh, PCBs that all connect together as one. That, or I really could do a heck of a lot of wire wrapping using my wire wrapping tool, but that wouldn't look very nice. So I just got these in. Haven't made a lot of decisions yet, but it really, really is cool. It's very large. And uh, thanks for watching. I hope you had a great new year, everybody. Take care and uh, thanks for watching. Visit us at engineeringshock.com, paintballprops.com, and electroniclessons.com.